How's it going there, YouTube? This is Michael with Underground Studios here, and if you follow my MS Computer Videos channel, you'll know that I recently purchased a mini DVI to VGA adapter for my iMac so that I can hook up a external monitor to it, in this case a 2006 15-inch gateway LCD monitor with a resolution of 1024 by 768 adding on to my iMac's resolution of 1680 by 1050 Now, in this video I'm going to talk about the secondary monitor and can I give you a perspective on what I think if it's really worth it to have two monitors so the main reason I wanted to have two monitors is to increase my productivity and to be able to use the screen real estate more to its benefit and not to have to be switching windows around so much and you know minimizing stuff. So I found that it did really help that out. I usually run some smaller apps like a Twitter client on the external secondary monitor and uh, I can keep those always there while I focus on other stuff you know. Um, there are ways to drag dashboard widgets right onto your desktop, so that would be useful too. I also put all my folders and files that I don't want to put in, like put away on the desktop so that my main screen is free. So it really helped me in that perspective. A way that it didn't really help is um, organization because it really made me throw more files on the desktop. And also you can't have a dock on the secondary monitor, so it it's not as beneficial as you might think but I did add a, a second menu bar on top via an application called Second Bar which is really helpful to me. You don't get your um, menu bar widgets like you know, your time machine and your Wi-Fi status but you do get your clock and all your other commands like Finder, File, Edit, View, Go, Menu, Help and your Apple Logo menu. So I found that to be very beneficial. Um, a side effect of it is that your graphics card is going to take a bigger hit with this because when you have a screen server going or something, you're taking twice as much graphics power to run it. So in some heavy 3D screen savers, I've known, I've noticed that my graphics will get a little bit laggy and chop up a little bit. I didn't notice any performance differences with games. I've tried out Angry Birds for Mac, and I didn't notice anything different there. Um, playing YouTube videos, nothing like that affected it. Um, just screen savers, things like that. Things that are running on both monitors at the same time. Now another handy feature of it is spaces, um, and when you go to your spaces menu, I activate it. My personally, I activate it by dragging my mouse down to the left bottom corner. Um, now instead of getting your normal spaces, you get four more spaces or however many more you have set up, and it's arranged with your secondary monitor. So wherever your monitor is, it's positioned just like that. So if I go to a video here, I've been I was watching this YouTube video. I also have my Twitter client running right here. You can see I still have space for stuff like that. So that's handy. You know, of course, you can also open up a window and then drag it between desktops like that. So that works out nice. Um, in iMovie, it really helps me out because normally you'd have your editing view and your um, imported clips on the screen, and then half of one of those sides would be your video. Um, with this secondary monitor I can put my video on this secondary display and then just my um, editing window and the imported clips on one. So it gives me more screen real estate that way. Um, it does help out that way. I do find myself not using as much as I should and maybe because of the placement sometimes it feels like a pain to go over there. Also it is slightly lower resolution um, so it doesn't hold a lot of stuff on the screen partly because of the size now all most of these things can be avoided by getting a larger monitor um, that's just what happened with me now also because the adapter I got is mini DVI to VGA I can't put anything over 720p in resolution well a little over 720 but not much um, can't do full 1080 with VGA so that was a downfall to me but overall I would say this is worth it the cable for it itself only costs $16 if you get the non-Apple one and the monitor I picked up for a steal at $10 that was a pretty nice monitor for $10 so it is worth it for me if you're looking to extend your screen real estate I would say this is definitely worth it um, the biggest um, waster for many people would be buying the monitor themselves but monitors always are falling in price 
So I don't see any reason not to get this. And that's about all for this video. And this is Michael from Underground Studios showing you almost kind of a review of the Mini DVI to VGA adapter and telling you if it's worth it or not. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.